Hello and welcome to Math for Fun. In the previous videos, we have explained the matrix operation and the vector operation. While in this video, we are going to continue with the FX991EX calculator and do the complex numbers. First of all, we need to reset the calculator as we mentioned in the previous videos to start from scratch by pressing Shift 9 3 Reset All. Let's do that. After we finish, we go for question number one. Now, here we have a complex number. If you remember that the complex number would be written in the shape of A plus IB, but the calculator should be in the complex mode, which is in the Cartesian status. Let me show you how. First, we do the shift 9, 3, equal, and AC, and then the calculator in the reset mode. Now, look at that. As we mentioned, A plus IB is a complex number, but here I mentioned I. Why? Because I want to show you something. Now, to go to the complex mode, click on menu and look at that here, number two. So we click two and the calculator is in the complex mode. Look at the letter I here at the top. Here, the letter I means that the calculator is in the complex, but it's in the Cartesian status, in the I form. Let me show you what do I mean. Now here, if we go for shift menu, and go down and go for the complex which is number two and we choose one of those here it's in the a plus b i status here r and angle theta which is in the polar form the polar form which has the modulus and the argument you see theta we call it the angle and r we call it the modulus while here we have a plus b i which is in the cartesian form so if you want your calculator to be in the cartesian form so press number one and then you see I. If you want it in the polar form, press shift menu, go down and go for complex number two. And here put it on two. You see on the top the angle here. The angle means that the calculator is in the polar form. What do I mean in this? If you put let's say two plus three I and you press equal, look what happened. It doesn't write it in the Cartesian form. It's write it in the polar form. It gives you the modulus and the argument. As we mentioned previously that you can press S to D. It gives you the modulus alone and the angle alone in one line. Each one is in a separate line. Now, let me say again. Also, if you have, let's clear the screen and we change the mode to be shift menu and we go down and we go complex, which is number two, and we put it in the Cartesian form. Let's say A plus IB, so we press 1. Now let's put the modulus and the argument of a complex number in polar form. Let's put, let's say we have 2 and we put shift and angle. Look at the angle here. And we put, let's say, 45. And you press equal. Look at the complex number. It gives you straightforward the complex number in the Cartesian form. It doesn't put it in the polar form. Why? Look at that. If you keep it, let's say shift menu and we go down and we put complex two and keep it in R and theta. So we press number two and let's say two shift angle and we put 45 and you press equal. It gives you the form which is the calculator has the mode for that because it's in the polar form and you wrote a complex number in polar form. It gives you the polar form because the calculator is in the polar form. So let's go for those cases. So the first case here, we have a complex number, which is 2 plus 3i. So let's write this complex number, 2 plus 3i on the calculator. That's 2 plus 3i. And we press equal. Look what happened. It gives you the complex number. The result is a complex number, which is 2 plus 3i. Now, as I mentioned before, if you press S to D, you will have the real part alone and the imaginary part alone. So each one is on a separate line, two and here plus three i. So if you press S to D again, you will get it all in one line, two plus three i. Now let's get another example. Here we have polar to rectangular. We want to change from polar to rectangular form. Let me show you how do you do this. I mentioned this before that if the calculator is in the I mode, so you can write four angle 45, write four shift angle 45 and press equal it will give you straightforward the complex number in the i mode now if you want to convert this like look what you can do in this case if we have let's say four shift angle 
45 you can go for option and go down and we want it in a plus vi so you can write 2 and then you see for angle 45 is going to be a plus bi so you press equal it gives you this now this case happened if the calculator is also in the polar form let me show you let's say we have the calculator shift menu and we have it here and we have complex two and let's put the calculator in r theta number two and we write four shift angle 45 and we need it in the complex mode while the calculator is in the polar form in the polar mode in the angle mode so what do we have to do we go for option and we go down one step and we choose two which is the complex so here from angle into complex mode which is a plus vi we press equal so you get it in the i mode 2 radical 2 plus 2 radical 2 i let's clear it and let's go for another example as we mentioned that we have polar to rectangular so polar to polar if the calculator setup was in the angle mode if you write it like 4 angle 45 4 with the modulus and angle is 45 it will give you 4 angle 45 now if the calculator is in the i mode so if you write angle and modulus it will give you the same complex number in the rectangular form another example here we can add complex number make sure that the calculator is in the i mode so go for shift menu go down one arrow go for complex number two and change it to be in the i mode so like a plus ib now we enter all what you see on the screen in the calculator and the calculator will perform the calculation for you so no need to think about it like here we have minus 3 plus 6i we write minus 3 plus 6 eng which is the i minus and here we have bracket minus 5 minus 3i so we open bracket we put minus 5 minus 3 eng close the bracket and we have also minus 8i we put minus 8 eng now everything has been added to the calculator press equal you will get 2 plus i the final answer so the calculator will do that for you let's go for another example here we can go also from rectangular to polar so if you have the complex number in the i mode so you change it from rectangular form to polar form how do we change that i mentioned this previously let's do that again here we have in the option if you go for option we have argument conjugate real part imaginary part and down here we have r angle theta and a plus bi and here we have the complex number in the rectangular form let's say 2 plus 3i so we write 2 plus 3 engi and we want to convert it to polar form so go for option and go down and we choose number one which is the polar form and we write one and then this complex is changing to polar form press equal then it will give you the polar form here write s to d to get each one on separate line so we have 3.60555 and the angle is going to be 56.3099 but remember that the calculator is in the degree mode so if you want it in radian mode all what you need is to go for shift menu and angle unit which is number two go for two and choose radian that's radian and press equal one more time then you have it in the radian mode so here you have angle 0 0.982 and so on let's go back menu angle unit which is two and we go for degree number one and we press equal so you have radical 13 and the angle is 56.30 and so on so here we converted the mixed number from rectangular to polar form let's clear the screen another example here we have to find the argument the argument which is only the angle that we need now let's find the argument for a complex number so we can go for option and here we have number one which is the argument so we put number one and we write the complex number let's say three plus four i that's three plus four i close bracket and press equal so here we get angle only only the angle we need the argument so we calculated the argument alone another example also sometimes the complex number would be written in the z shape like z equal 3 plus 4i so we can find the modulus so we write modulus of the complex number z which is like we put it in absolute value 3 plus 4i 
So this would do the radical for the sum of the squares of the real and the imaginary, the number three and the four. We do square of those and we add them and we put them under the radical. So look at how many steps that we, we need to do. So on the calculator, we can do it less straightforward. How do we do that on the calculator? We can go for shift, absolute value. You see the ABS here? We press ABS and we can write the complex number as it is three plus four I, that three plus four E and G, and we press equal, then it will give you straightforward the answer, which is five, which is three squared nine, four squared 16, nine plus 16, which is 25, radical 25, which is five. And here we get it straightforward. Now the conjugate, the conjugate is something which is easy, but sometimes we forget it. So how to recall the conjugate? We can find it by the calculator. To find the conjugate for a complex number, we can go for option. But remember, all what we are doing here is in the complex mode. So the calculator is on menu two, the complex mode. Because if the calculator is in the menu one, let's say the normal mode, if you write two plus three I, look when you press on E and G, it doesn't give you anything. So we need to remember that the calculator should be on menu two, which is in the complex mode. Now we want to find the conjugate of a complex number. We can go for option, conjugate, you see here, which is two, so we press number two, and we write the complex number two plus three I, E and G, close bracket, and we write equal, and you see that the imaginary part has been switched into negative. If it's negative, it will be positive. If it's positive, it will be changed to negative. So two plus three i is conjugate is two minus three i. Another idea. Here we can multiply the complex numbers also. So if you want to multiply, just follow the steps of the parentheses. So write it properly, otherwise it will give you a wrong answer. Like minus two minus i, it's multiplied by four plus i. How do we do this? We open parentheses, minus two, minus i, which is eng, close bracket, open bracket again, write 4 plus eng, close bracket, press equal, then the calculation would be performed for you easily in one shot. So no need to worry about the distributive property and changing i squared to be minus 1 or these stuff. The calculator would do that for you. Another example, here we have a complex number squared. Same thing as we multiplied here, we can do, let's say, up in parentheses, we write 1 minus 7 ENG, close bracket, and we do square, and we press equal sign, and this would be the answer. Now, one idea which is I need to mention here, because some people are trying the same idea on the Casio calculator, which is the 991ES, and it doesn't give an answer. The idea is when you put a power which is more than 3, so here, if you put power 8, 9, 100, okay, and you press equal, it will give you the answer. And if you change it to two lines, this would be the answer. This is the real part, and this is the imaginary part, and you see I is here. But in the Casio calculator, which is 991ES, it doesn't perform more than 3. The maximum power it can perform is to the power of 3. For it will give you a math error. So that is the difference between this one and that one. And also there are so many things, features of this calculator are more professional and more uh, advanced. So also let's say, let's do change the power from eight, make it let's say 20, look at that. It will give you the answer and two lines, look at that. It will give you the answer even if it's power more than three. Another idea, sometimes they ask you to simplify a complex number. Here we have numerator and denominator. To simplify, you all remember that we need to multiply by the conjugate. Like 5 minus 2i here, we multiply up and down, numerator and denominator, by 5 plus 2i, 5 plus 2i, because here we have minus. If we have plus here, we multiply by minus up and down. And performing this, you have to make distributive property first by first, first by second, like FOIL method. And we can uh, finally find the answer. But look how many steps we need to perform to get the answer. While by the calculator, if you put the complex number, press equal, it will give you the final answer. Let me show you how. Like here we have 3 plus 7i over 5 minus 2i. If we write fraction and we put 3 plus 7 eng over, we go down, 5 minus 2 eng also i, and we move up then we press equal, 
Look at that. It gives you the answer straightforward, like 1 over 29 plus 41 over 29, I in one shot. Here also in the options, you can find that there's a real part, real part and imaginary part. What does it mean? Like if you press 3, it will ask you for the real part of which complex number you need. So we can write, let's say, it, 1 plus 8, I, and we close bracket. Let's say you forgot which one is the real and which one is the imaginary press equal, it will give you one is the real part. So one is the real part. Same thing for the imaginary part. If you go for option and you go for imaginary part, which is number four, and we put, let's say five minus two I, it will give you minus two, which is the imaginary equal. That is minus two. So minus two is the imaginary part, while five is the real part. The imaginary, which is the part that containing the I, only the number, multiplied by i. So this would be the imaginary. So now we learned about the complex number. We changed it from rectangular to polar and from polar to rectangular. Let me give you an idea about the polar coordinates in this video. Polar coordinates are found here. You see here polar and rectangular. I'm going to tell you how do you change from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. Now here is a point. Point we want to change it from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates how do we do that remember now we are not working in complex mode so we have to go for menu and we go for one which is the normal mode so what i need is the rectangular form so i press on rectangular here so we press shift the minus sign so i need the rectangular coordinates for what for two shift comma you see here the comma and we have here three shift pi over two and we close the parentheses and we press equal and here it gives you the rectangular coordinates now why are the rectangular coordinates here are different than here because i have used pi here and the calculator is in the degree mode so the calculator understands pi as 3.14 and consider this as written in degree mode now i want to tell the calculator that here is a radian angle, not degree angle. So we should write shift menu and change the angle unit to, to be in radian, which is number two. And we press equal again and look at the coordinates. Now it is the correct coordinate. It's x equals zero and y equal to minus two because I used pi. So once you use pi, remember to change the calculator to be in the radian mode. If you use angle in degree mode, put the calculator in the degree mode now let's change to the other one if i have rectangular coordinates and i want to change it into polar coordinates what do we do as we have done here but not rectangular i want the polar coordinates of this point so i need to use polar we go for shift plus which is the polar inside and i write minus radical 2 radical 2 so here minus radical 2 we go out. Remember, if you stay inside and you put the comma, the comma is going to be inside the radical, which is wrong. So remember, go out and put shift, comma, and the second one, which is also radical 2, and go out, close the parentheses, and press equal sign. It will give you the polar coordinates of the point. And remember that here we have in radian mode. So the calculator will give you the angle in radian. Like, let's change the angle to be in degree one and we press equal look at the angle change to be in degree mode so we have r equal to two and the angle is equal to 135 if you remember pi is 180 like pi in radian is 180 in degrees so if you divide pi which is 180 by 4 you get 45 45 times 3 which is 135 which is exactly the same but this is in degree and this is in radian. And here I can say that we have covered most of the ideas about complex numbers. And I can say that we reached the end of the video. If you like the video, don't forget to like and share. And welcome to Math for Fun. And bye for now.